converge if k is what, right? Now, to do this one, we'll take this and change that to the integral case. So I'll just say, oh man, let me just still follow my same format. I will say consider still in red f of x still 1 over x, right? And then parentheses ln x to the case power. Well, let's just check. Well, again, positive, decreasing, draw the picture, seriously up to you, okay? And we just want to check, right? We check the limit, or well, not limit, the integral from 2 to infinity. 1 over x, parentheses ln x to the case power dx. To do this, we will do integration, no. <laughs> u substitution, it will be enough, right? So we do u sub, let u equal to ln x, and then you do the rest, and we'll do this in your head. This right here is equal to the integral of, okay, I'll, I'll just do that for you guys. du is equal to 1 over x dx, and dx is the same as x du. Okay, you see that this right here is 2 to infinity, and you get 1 over, sorry, not 2 to L, infinity. x goes from 2 to infinity, but let's take care of this in the u world. u will go, when you plug in 2, into here, you get u is ln2. Plug in infinity here, u will be infinity. And then, here we have the x, parentheses u, k is still k, and this guy is x du, so let me just put on x du, so cancel this out, All right? So in this case, you will see that we actually just get the integral from ln2 to infinity in the u world, and we have actually 1 over u to the k's power du. Yes, we have talked about this before. This is the p integral, the p test for the integral, right? This right here, we know converge if the exponent here is greater than 1. So converge if k is greater than 1, not equal to, right? So same thing here, if k is greater than 1. Ah, so cool, isn't it?